What's going on guys? So today I want to go over this financial report for the third quarter of NCSoft's games. This is really relevant because this really has to take after the whole update of Unreal Engine 4 over in Korea as it came out in June. So we can kind of see how much of an impact it had on Blade and Soul. Of course this doesn't reflect the NA region yet, but because Korea is the more dominant region, this is a good indicator to see how well uh, NCSoft really with Unreal Engine 4's release boosts the game's population and revenue. So First thing we have here is, of course, you guys know the mobile games are always king. They're always doing the most money. Uh, just ridiculous how much money they make off Lineage M, Lineage 2, and Blade Soul 2, all mobile games. Uh, we also have the PC games right here. You'll see Lineage, Lineage 2, Ion, Blade Soul, and Guild Wars 2. So right here is the third quarter. Right here you got Lineage, Lineage 2, Ion, Blade Soul, and then Guild Wars 2. As the colors are a little confusing, I guess you could say, because they're all just blue, just a lighter shade. But this is Blade Soul right here. So you see Blade and Soul has been on a very steady decline for the past few years. Not really surprising because, I mean, just over in the West, you can tell the game has been in a bad decline. And it's the same thing for Korea. Now, these numbers are in billion. This is Korean money. So keep in mind, this is like 23 billion, 19 billion, 17 billion to see how they go off that in Korean money. Um, so you see right here, with the Unreal Engine 4 release, we had 9 billion for Blade and Soul. Then it went up to 10 billion, 357. So not a really huge increase in revenue honestly from the release of Unreal Engine 4 over in korea you're looking at uh basically a 1 billion increase in revenue which is not really that much you would think with something as big as Unreal Engine 4 the revenue report would be way larger like maybe it would jump back up i was expecting it to jump back up to 14 billion maybe even 15 billion but this revenue report it shows that it, it didn't even really make that much money for them with Unreal Engine 4 which really tells me that the population of the game didn't really increase with this big update, which in my opinion was kind of the key thing to bring back players to the game. The problem with it, in my opinion, is Unreal Engine 4 just wasn't smooth enough at launch. There's a lot of issues still with it. There's a lot of buds. There's a lot of things like Mushin's Tower where you have bad FPS and you have to lower your shadows to uh, get decent FPS in that area. There's still some disconnects and issues. So it's just kind of one of those things where they kind of put Unreal Engine 4 half-baked out and it took them so long in general just to put it out and when they did it was a perfect update i feel like a lot of people weren't really that excited about it so you can see that in the revenue report um basically i expect for the fourth quarter the final quarter of 2021 for the korean blade and soul market it'll probably go down below 10 billion again so it's, it's not going to be really that good it's just going to steady decline we had a little boost because of underage of four but not really as much as a lot of people were expecting honestly You'll see also we had Ion, which is still doing very strong, mainly because of Ion Classic that came out over in Korea and the West recently, and Korea is doing very well. People really like it, and they make a ton of money off it. They have like memberships you can buy. They have a bunch of pay-to-win stuff in there, so they're really milking the Korean players with the Ion Classic. Ion Classic basically just being a vanilla version of the game back where everyone started at level one, and they just kind of make everyone play the game all over again. Um, so this is really good for Ion. They're still doing very strong, way better than Blade & Soul, um, which I really did expect because I always thought Blade & Soul would be, overall, in my opinion, a better game. So I'm kind of surprised, but that's why I think eventually they will put out Blade & Soul Classic, and I did a video on that because I think they will, after seeing the success of Ion Classic, they will eventually do some type of Blade & Soul Classic to boost the revenue reports once it gets low enough in the revenue reports for Blade & Soul. And trust me, I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on it right now in the shadows and they just haven't announced it yet. Lastly, Guild Wars 2 is up to 19 billion. So nice little increase there. So this is really nice to see some of the games thriving. I really like to see Guild Wars 2 thriving. I hope we get Guild Wars 3 eventually. That would be awesome. But um, Blade & Soul, kind of the main topic of the video. Um, again, not a big revenue jump with Unreal Engine Force release. We'll have to see how the impact is for the West, but as we know, the West is a small, small portion of the amount of money that they make off Blade and Soul. Really, Korea is where it's at. So I don't see the revenue report jumping at all, honestly. Uh, probably be a little bit of a decline. So that's really the video I want to update you guys with, kind of show you the numbers because numbers don't lie. I mean, they don't reveal the population of Blade and Soul, but when you see the steady decline, of the game you can kind of tell obviously people are not playing as much anymore so definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this are you surprised with such a small jump with under four were you expecting more numbers like me or do you think this is pretty fair let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching the video leave a like sub and i'll see you guys in the next one real soon